I was blooming y'all was peeing we back. I don't know if y'all can tell. Y'all let me know in the comments, but I finally got a tripod. So these is no more shaky clips. You know, we got we got steady clips. I mean, I'm in a car right now, so I'm, and I'm driving, so it's gonna be still a little shaky. But for the most part, no more shaky clips. It also can get y'all a little bit more B-roll clips. So that's gonna be fun. Um, it's Friday today, and guess who dropped? If that's not crazy, I don't know what it is. Like, bro, for, bro, this man had a whole fucking refrigerator trying to speed past me. Like, bro, you need to you need to be going to speed limit. Anyways, bro, I'm not gonna lie. This mixtape got straight fingers. <laughs> like, he got I know they all like two minutes long, but it's a mixtape, so it's not supposed to be like an album. But jeez, I think it's just so far. The fact that he picked to do a DJ Holiday mixtape, because you know that's that's iconic in my opinion. But today we're going to be. I want to fix this shirt I got on right now. So if y'all see me with a different shirt on later on today. Just know that's because I want to fix this shirt, and I hopefully will show y'all. But this shirt is like I want to say 2013 or 2016, back when Kanye was doing his tour for um, what's the album called? He was doing his tour for I want to say I can't remember what's called. I feel like it's I feel like I'm Pablo. Something like that. The one that's named after his dad. And they went and they had the whole... They rented out Madison Square Gardens. And, like, y'all know. Because it was pivotal. Pivotal. Like, I wish I could in insert that clip where... Um, Young Thug starts playing... Um, I think he was playing Memo. Bro. That junk is just either memo or I think oh God, I think it was something. He was playing that junk and it was like everybody in the whole arena was just like, bro, this is the most melodic thing ever. That's what I'm talking about. But I say all that to say that's the shirt that I got right on right now. And I don't like how it has like the little um cutoff at the bottom. So I'm about to see if I can kinda hem it and then basically just alter it so that it doesn't have that that look anymore like i'm just gonna make it a regular crew neck type fit anyways i hope oh shit it's a good little day got got my water if y'all saw in the last clip got chai i already drunk like the whole thing, because I'll drink chai over coffee any day. Um, that's just what it is. Also, if y'all know any other good chai concentrates, put them in the comments, because I only use Oregon chai, which that looks like the chai that everybody else uses, but I just feel like there could be a better chai. Or maybe I just got to add some vanilla syrup. So that too. If y'all got any chai recipes that y'all know about, drop them down below so we know. Um, That's mainly it. I don't think I'm going to pick up for the rest of this day. Like, I, I hopefully think that I want to do an outro for y'all. But I'm not really tripping on if I do. Because I think this is already going to be... Maybe 10 minutes. I'm going to say it's going to be a 10 minute vlog. Uh, Alright, y'all good. But I'm going to say it's going to be like a 10 minute vlog. So, 
I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Please make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. On our way to 100K subscribers. Um, yeah. Y'all see a crossbody though. And I got everything right at this point. This is my, this my go-to. We back though, the shirt is done. And I wanted to really close out and just say, like I said in the, the last video, you know, the reason why I made Cal and Co. And why it's so important to kind of, why I feel like this is the best thing to do. Because let's take Jay-Z for example. You know, he got basically denied from all of the big record labels. And he was like, you know what, I'm gonna do my own thing. But what he did was he opened up a whole nother white space. And what I mean is, is that a lot of people didn't realize that the, the music that he was making was really selling like that. So when they saw he was doing numbers on his own, they was like, oh, like maybe we should have signed him or something like that. But Overall, I say I have to say, I think it's a really good thing to, you know, do things that haven't been done because I don't really know too many people who do the same thing and still get looked at as great. You know, it's gotta be crazy or outlandish in order for it to really like cause some, I wanna say, I'm just gonna say cause just some traffic in the world i can't think of the word but that's really it for today's vlog i appreciate y'all for watching please like comment subscribe what's blooming is peace